Malgus stood directly before Adras, his hate, the vice, closing on Adras's trachea. You and Angro caused this Adras, and the Emperor. There can be no peace with the Jedi, no truce. He clenched his fist. There can be no peace at all, not ever. Adras's only answer was continued gagging. Seeing him there, hanging near death, Malgus thought of Alina, of Adras's description of her. He released Adras from the clutch of his force choke. Adras hit the ground on his back, gasping. Malgus had a knee on his chest and both his hands on his throat before Adras could recover. He would kill Adras with his bare hands. Look me in the eyes, he said, and made Adras look at him. In the eyes! Adras's eyes showed petechial hemorrhaging, but Malgus knew he was coherent. You called her a mongrel, Malgus said. He removed his gauntlets, took Adras by the throat, and began to squeeze. To my face, you called her that. Her! Adras blinked, his eyes watering. His mouth opened and closed, but no sound emerged. You are the mongrel, Adras. Malgus bent low, nose to nose. Angrel's mongrel, and you and those like you have mongrelized the purity of the Empire with your pollution, trading strength for a wretched peace. Adras's trachea collapsed in Malgus's grip. There was no final cough or gag. Adras died in silence. Malgus rose and stood over Adras's body. He pulled on his gloves, adjusted his armor, his cloak, and walked out of the manse.